Hey guys, just two things I would like to share with you. Valentino brought out a new perfume called Valentina. This was launched mid-September 2011. It's a fresh, floral, fruity, oriental perfume. The bottle tends to look romantic and even, I guess, kind of pretty on the picture when you see the advertisement but it's actually horrible in life it's really cheap and I don't know if you can see it because of the light this is just put on here with some plastic you actually see the glue back here and everything is sort of a flimsy flower attachment that's just put on here like this for Valentino since he's right up there with all the high-end designing and everything I think he could have done better with the bottle. It is a nice scent. Unfortunately, it doesn't last too well. I would say three hours at the most. It's nice enough to purchase as an everyday scent, to my opinion. The scent opens up with flowers and it dries down being sort of powdery. You notice a little bit of the truffle, but it fades quickly. The top notes on this are bergamot, tuber, the middle notes are jasmine, orange flower, tuber rose, wild strawberries, and the base notes are cedar, amber, and vanilla. When you first spray it, the cedar and also the amber comes out and you would think it's really strong, but like I said, it doesn't last too well. But nevertheless, it is still a nice scent. So that's Valentina by Valentino. Sigma came out with some new brushes that I wanted to try. The synthetic precision kit. supposed to mimic your fingertips. So any product you would use your fingers for, you could use these brushes I for. I washed them once and no fallout, of course. I've tried this one with concealer. Now the thing is with concealer, I still prefer using fingers so the product melts nice into the skin because of your body temperature but you can always use one of these brushes to blend it out they're perfect for blending I'm actually liking these I'll go through the different ones there's four in so all. there's the F80 precision flat that's this one so obviously this is a flat top and it's quite dense, as same as the other ones. This is ideal to conceal blemishes. Uh, it can also be used to stipple concealer on defined areas. The F82, this is the precision round one. That's the one I just showed with the concealer. Ideal to apply eyeshadow primer. It can also be used for the precise application of highlight shades on the bridge of the nose, cheekbones, or like on the cupid's bow, you could use this for. The P84, did I say F before? They're all P, so I'm not sure if I said F anyway. P84, precision angled brush, precise contouring on the sides of the nose if you're into contouring your nose, like with cream products. This also works really good if you want to contour the hollows of your cheekbones, Just highlight your brow bone. Then there's the P86, the Precision Tapered Brush. So this would actually be the right brush to apply concealer underneath your eyes. It also really works good around your mouth. Like if you want a concealer around the lips to prevent color bleeding, this one works pretty good. So I think they're pretty nice brushes. Um, I don't know if someone would need all of them. Um, I wanted all of them since I'm a brush freak. But I think perhaps these two would even do the job. So that's all for now. I just wanted to show you the new Valentina and the uh, four new Sigma brushes. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.